don't think I fit anywhere. I mean, I guess I'm a nerd. I guess I'm a geek too. But, um, I don't know. I don't really have a click. I think when kids come into the Thousand Girls, Thousand Futures program, they are sort of carrying the weight of the world on their back. They may be the only student in their school who faces this sort of combination of personal expectations, academic expectations, and family expectations. Forget about all the social expectations. Who's gonna walk? Well, we're gonna have the Regents at 12.15 for three hours. Just, I know I'm gonna do good, but I can't help freaking out. Oh. See you on Saturday. Thank you. I think it went well. I mean, the, the essays weren't, I mean, I was prepared for them and then I wrote them and I think I did good and I hope that I get a good grade on them. Well, guys are here chirping right now. So we have two birds and they chirp a lot. So you guys are gonna hear chirping and bird sounds in the background. It's because of our parakeets. So these are my certificates for academic achievement from last year and this year mixed together. This is the principal award, the principal honor roll. So um, it means that you have a 95 to 100 um, GPA average. This is the top of the class award for 10th grade that I got this year. It's like I worked my butt off because sometimes I want to sleep at like 3 a.m. just studying for a test that I had. And like teachers have told me, they're like, no, you work way too much. It's, it's like, I'm an overachiever. I, I don't know. I don't consider myself to be smart. I just, I consider myself to have a lot of effort into what I put into my work. And I guess that's what people, well, some people consider smart because I thought about it a couple times. I was like, maybe I should try to change myself. Maybe like just fit in. And then my mom, she told me, no, you don't have to fit in because everybody has their own personality. Everybody has their own way. If you try to fit in, then you're going to lose yourself. You're going to lose your true identity. And then I realized she was right. So my country, no, nothing. The people, rich people giving the education, the girls and boys, Otherwise, in compare the more important the boys, the girls know. Just in a 14, 15, 16 years old, marry and do, go away. That's it. Unless you're the kid of an engineer or, you know, your mom is a neurologist, how are you going to know? what to do to open the doors that uh, a kid who has a family from STEM would be able to open. My name is Nora Fatima. I love learning, and I want to be someone great in the future. I mean, I think that, I, I, I think that sort of captures it um, better than I, I ever could. Uh, I'm trying not to stress out, but it's hard. Failures are inevitable. We're human and it's impossible for one person to succeed every step of the way. The most important thing to do is don't ever give up and to get through those failures because it will be better on the other side and you will get over it. Yeah. As the mentoring relationship builds over time, not only does Nora have access to her mentor, who we've sort of custom picked for her, she has access to everybody else who's in her mentor's network and who else is on the platform. So finding that node that they can connect into and then reach out into the larger scientific community is what this program is all about. I am so honored to have this opportunity to actually mentor such a bright young lady like yourself. Oh, thank you. When I came into 1,000 Girls with 1,000 Features, I found girls who had similar experiences and I felt supported and I felt confident and I felt sort of not alone. And like every day there's another post from a girl from another part of the world talking about how, um, like about the dreams that she has for her future. And that's inspiring.